Okay, gentlemen, this is your last and final installment of your EasyBib tutorial, how to organize your note cards. Now, I am presuming that you are logged in, as I am. First step is to open up the notebook page of your project. So we're in the notebook page of this trial project, and we're connecting, and here we are. Now you see here various ways already to organize note cards. The first and simplest way to organize the note cards is to drag them around this visualized uh, project layout, sort of like a table. Imagine this is the surface of a table and you're just arranging your note cards on the surface of the table. So here I've arranged uh, a series of four note cards in sort of a shape that indicates to me a series of questions about the atonement. And at the top, there's my specific note card on the atonement, and then a question, why did Jesus Christ have to die? And then two uh, general questions, who is Jesus Christ and what is Christianity? And there's a general sense of organization here that's simply indicated. I'll wait for the bell. You maybe didn't hear the bell, but that was the first bell of class. Okay, moving on. So you have these two uh, note cards at the bottom that are sort of general note cards. And remember, I want your note cards to move from the specific to the general because you're explaining whatever your topic is to somebody who knows nothing about the religion. So that's one way uh, and the simplest way of organizing note cards. But you can do some other things as well. See this comment here. I have given this particular comment. If you open up the organize button there, I've given this particular comment a color. I have colored it green here, but you can color it anything, any color that you would like. Uh, and you can uh, organize your note cards in that fashion to indicate by color which belong to different groups. This one's green. If you see there, you can also see that there are other ways to organize your notes. You can tag them with any sort of tag, just like you would tag something on uh, Twitter. Uh, or you can also give them a group. Now let's talk about the groups. Here you see a group. That's the third way to organize note cards. If you have a set of note cards all in one topic, you can make a group about them. Uh, for example, I might want to group these four note cards together. To group note cards, you just drag them on top of each other. And that forms a group. Then you can title your group just by double clicking. I double clicked here. Title them. Atonement note cards. And that titles the group. And there you have a group. And then you can organize your groups in some sort of fashion as well. If you don't like a particular group, double click on it. And you can drag the note cards out again. And that will get rid of the root note card. And that's it. Hope you've enjoyed these tutorials and good luck on your projects.